Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a baby blanket with a picture panel in the centre. The blanket I'll be making today will have a green centre instead of the blue centre and I'll be adding some cute animals, a chipmunk, raccoon, a fawn, some skunks and flowers and different things instead of the moon and teddy bears. I've made my blanket 92 centimetres by 76 centimetres or 36 inches by 30 inches but you could make your blanket whatever size you'd like. Now I used eight ply yarn which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK for the main colour this white yarn with the pink and green flecks and the silver through it. I use 300 grams and for my contrast the green I used 100 grams for that. I've also got my appliques, scissors. I used a 5.5 and a 5 millimeter crochet hook because I've got very tight tension but you might prefer to use the 4 or 4.5 millimeter hook. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, sewing thread and a needle to stitch the appliques to the blanket and I've got some yellow embroidery cotton to add French knots to the middle of the flowers. Now we start in the middle panel. I've got my light green and I'll be starting with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I have a very tight tension and if I used a four my blanket would be really stiff. So use the hook that you would normally use. Now we start with 42 chain. Now that's my 42 chain. For row one, we're going to work one double crochet in the third chain from the hook. A double crochet is a treble, using UK terms. For a double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. And we'll be working like that right across our row. One double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the following stitch. So one double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the following stitch right across our row.
and we finish with a single crochet into our last stitch. And that's row one done. Now all the rest of the rows will be worked the same. We start with two chain and turn. We work one double crochet into the first stitch and we work a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. Now this is the front loop here and that's the back loop. So a single crochet in the back loop only. And then one double crochet into the next stitch through both loops and one single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. So we're working a double crochet on the top of the single crochet from the row before and a single crochet in the top of the double crochet in the back loop only. So one double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the following stitch right across the row. Now for our last stitch we work one single crochet through both loops that will just make it a bit more stable. So that's two rows of the panel. Now we just repeat row two until our work measures about 40 centimetres or 16 inches. So I'll just repeat row two off camera until my work is the right size. Now my work is about 40 centimetres long or 16 inches. We're going to do an edging right round the piece now. I'm, I'll change to a size finer hook for the edging. So I'm going to change to 
a 5 millimeter hook. Now the most important thing for the edging is to get our stitches fairly evenly apart. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch on the straight edges and three single crochet into each corner stitch. So we'll start with one chain and I'm going to work one single crochet into the corner stitch and then I'll work two more single crochet into that same stitch at the end of the row and then we work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. So just try to get your stitches the same distance apart as they are along the top and the bottom. So just one single crochet in each stitch down the side So I'm just working a single crochet fairly close to the edge. So I'll continue down the side off camera until I get to the corner. Now I'm at the corner, the side has stayed good and flat. For the corner I work three single crochet into that same stitch. And then one single crochet in the back of the chain along the bottom to the next corner. And we'll work three single crochet into the corner stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch up the other side, three single crochet into the corner stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch along the top to the corner stitch. So I'll work the rest of this up off camera to the last corner and I'll be back when we get to the last stitch. Now I'm back to the corner stitch. I work two single crochet into the corner stitch and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and then I fasten off. And that's the middle panel done. I'll weave in that end and I'll be back with the main colour and we'll work the edging. This is what the edge of the blanket is going to look like. It's worked similar to the centre panel except the double crochets go up in a line and the single crochet in the back loop only go up in a line. This stitch looks better going in rounds rather going than going back and forth. Now for the edging, we join our main colour three stitches before a corner stitch. So this is my corner stitch here, so I'll join three stitches before. And we start with two chain quite loosely. That's going to be our first double crochet. 
and then we work a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch, a double crochet in both loops only of the following stitch. Now for this row into our corner stitches we're going to work through both loops in all our corner stitches. We work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet. So one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the following stitch and we'll repeat that one double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the following stitch and just repeat that across now we need to have a double crochet in the last stitch before our corner stitch so we may need to either work a joined stitch or work two into the same stitch but we'll see when we get near the corner so one double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the following stitch across the row Now mine's going to work in OK because I've got two stitches left and I'd need a single crochet and a double crochet but if you were one short you could work either a single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch to get it to fit in or you could work a joined double crochet. To do that we would put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, 
and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. But I won't need to do this for this corner. So I work my single crochet in the next stitch and my double crochet in the last stitch before the corner stitch. Into the corner stitch you work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet and then a double crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the back loop only down the side and then a double crochet into the next stitch and we continue like that down the side a single crochet into the back loop only and then a double crochet into the next stitch. So I'll work down to near the next corner off camera. Now I'm back near the next corner. When I'm doing around a big piece like this I like to just check to make sure my stitches are in the right order and they are and my work's going to fit in perfectly again so I need a single crochet and a double crochet before the corner. So if you don't finish with a double crochet just work an extra stitch into one of your stitches or join the last two together. Do a join double crochet over the last two stitches. So into your corner stitch work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet and then work a double crochet in the first stitch on the next side and then work a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch then a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the following stitch and just repeat that across to the next corner so I'll work this next side, I'll just check to make sure I've done it right and I'll be back. Now I'm back near the next corner and my work's not going to fit in this time so I think it would look better to work a joined double crochet over my two stitches. So I'll work my joined double crochet over those last two stitches before the corner so I've got a double crochet in the last stitch and then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet and I work a double crochet in the first stitch around the corner and a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch and then a double crochet in the following stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch and I work like that up to the beginning of the row so I'll continue off camera until I get near the end of the row. We need to end with a single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch of the row and mine isn't going to fit in. I think a joined double crochet would pull my work in too much so I've just worked a single crochet in the back loop only a few stitches back. I'm now going to work a double crochet both through both loops of that same stitch and I'm going to add an extra stitch in there and then a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch, a double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the back loop only of the last stitch. Now we join with a slip stitch in the top of the second chain and that's row one done. For row two we start with two chain quite loosely and then we work 
a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch that's the single crochet from the row below a double crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the back loop only of the following stitch now into our corners for this row we're going to work through both loops again a double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet and then we work a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch and a double crochet into the following stitch and we'll be working across like that a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch which is the single crochet at the row below and then a double crochet into the following stitch which is our double crochet and into our corner stitches we'll be working one double crochet one single crochet and one double crochet and we don't need to keep checking our work anymore because you should be able to see if you've worked a wrong stitch because your single crochets and double crochets won't be on top of each other. So I'll continue around this the rest of the row off camera and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. Our last stitch before the end of the row is a single crochet in the back loop only and then we slip stitch in the top of the second chain for row 3 we start with 2 chain loosely we work a single crochet in the back loop only of the first stitch that's a single crochet below and then a double crochet into the next stitch a single crochet in the back loop only of the following stitch a double crochet into the next stitch and for this row our corner is worked one single crochet one double crochet and one single crochet and then we work a double crochet into the back into the next stitch sorry a single crochet into the back loop only of the following stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch and we just continue working like that a double crochet into the double crochets from the row below and a single crochet in the back loop only of the row below and our corner stitches are a single crochet a double crochet and a single crochet so I'll work the rest of this row off camera when we get back to the beginning of the row we join in the top chain and that's our pattern rows two and three so for every row we start with two chain loosely for our first double crochet and then just work a single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch we'll be working a double crochet in the double crochet from the row below and a single crochet in the back loop only from the single crochet be in the row below and into the corner stitches in the next this row that we're just about to do We'll work one double crochet, one single crochet and then one double crochet and then in the next row we'll work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet. So we continue working like that until your work measures the desired amount. I'll work mine about 36 inches by 30 inches or 92 centimetres by 76 centimetres and then I'll be back and we'll work a fairly simple border 
My work is just under 92 centimetres by 76 centimetres or 36 inches by 30 inches. So I'll work the border now. There are two rows to the border. The first row is just one single crochet in each stitch except for the corner stitches where we'll work three single crochet and the second row is just a reverse single crochet or crab stitch. So we start with one chain and we're going to be working through both loops now. So we work one single crochet in the same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet in each stitch up to our corner stitch. Into our corner stitch we work three single crochet. And then one single crochet into each stitch along to the next corner. We'll work three single crochet into the next corner and then one single crochet in each stitch down the side. So I'll continue around my neatening row until I get to the beginning of the row. So just one single crochet in each stitch except the corner stitches and three single crochet into each corner stitch. When we get back to the beginning of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row two we start with one chain now we're not going to turn, we're going to work back the wrong way. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. So into the stitch before and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the two loops. And we're just going to work one reverse single crochet or it can be called a crab stitch in each stitch around. We're not going to work three into the corner stitches. Just one reverse single crochet in each stitch around. And that's what it looks like. So I'll continue working the reverse single crochet in each stitch and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When we get back to near the beginning of the row we work 
a reverse single crochet in the last stitch and fasten off. And when I weave in the ends, I just pull it down the back there so you can't see where the join is. Now I work 24 little flowers to go around my edging. I use the contrast colour and to make the flower I make a magic loop. To make a magic loop I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And then we start with three chain and work one double crochet into the circle. Work three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And that's the first petal done. We work four more petals the same. Three chain, work one double crochet into the circle, work three chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then work three chain, one double crochet into the circle, three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And we make two more petals the same. Once we've got our five petals we pull the circle tight so we take hold of this tail and just ease it in and fasten off. And that's the flower done. I'll make 23 more flowers. I'll weave in all the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my blanket and here's some of my flowers and some appliques. The first thing I'll do is embroider a French knot in the centre of all the flowers and then I'll place them on the edge part of the blanket and once I'm happy with that I'll pin them down and I'll also place my appliques on the centre panel and when I'm happy with the design I'll take a photo so I know where things are and I'll also pin them on. There's the blanket with all the flowers and appliques laid out on it and I'm happy with that so I'll stitch them on now. And there's the finished blanket. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.